So endometriosis is a very common condition, especially in young women, where the lining of the uterus, the inside lining of the uterus, travels to outside the uterus and stick to various organs in the belly, and it can cause a lot of problems. It is safe to assume that in the United States, women of fertility uh, of reproductive age approximately 30 to 40 percent it is estimated can have endometriosis very common condition so you know nobody knows the exact etiology cause of endometriosis but there are many theories the most common theory is what we call retrograde menstruation. What that is as follows. You know how young women have menstrual periods every month? So all the extra lining that was built up comes out when you're not pregnant. That's your menstrual flow. In many women, some of the blood goes out the other way through the fallopian tube and they end up in the belly and that's the most common cause, but there are obviously genetic factors. So if your mom had it, if your grandmother had it, chances are you're gonna have it as well, and your daughter for that matter. So as I said, you know, there are many different causes, even though no one cause has been known to be the only cause. But if you've never had children, if you've been menstruating all your life, chances are you are at a higher risk of developing endometriosis because if you think about it you're menstruating every month and chances are some of that extra tissue can go out the other side and end up in your belly such as ovaries and your bowel and bladder so people ask me how is endometriosis diagnosed right so one can make a diagnosis based on pure symptomatology. So when you have these symptoms of painful menstrual cycles, painful periods, painful sex, and so on, in a young woman, chances are she has endometriosis. But the most definitive way, the only way to truly make that diagnosis is by surgery, a laparoscopy, where a doctor would go in, put a small needle in the belly and telescope, and look for actually spots of endometriosis, and that will be the most definitive way to diagnose endometriosis. So there are various treatments uh, for endometriosis. If it's mild with symptoms of painful menses and painful sex, the first treatment we would start is typically birth control pills, right? So you can go on birth control pills, and if the patient responds to it, she may have to be on it for a long time. So that would be the first initial step. The other, the next step would be something more complex where you would really treat the actual areas of endometriosis. There are pill forms and there are also injections. But in severe case of endometriosis, surgery is the only option. We're not talking about extensive major surgery like a hysterectomy, but a physician can go in, a gynecologist can go in and look for areas of endometriosis inside the belly and take them out, resect those areas and make the patients better. So I'm not sure there's actually one form of prevention, but because as I said, it's caused by many factors including retrograde menstruation, being placed on birth control pills will probably limit, as you know, because you're keeping the lining of the uterus thin with birth control pills, that will be considered a prevention. Uh, pregnancy, by the way, would be not only a prevention, but a treatment because while you're pregnant, you're not menstruating, so there's no blood going back through the fallopian tubes into your belly. So listen, endometriosis is a very, very common condition, whether it's in the US or in Milan. Young women, if they have pelvic pain of what we call unknown etiology, they have pain, they don't know why they have pain, and it turns out their mother had similar pain, chances are you have 
endometriosis, even though the classic triad of symptoms are painful menstrual periods, painful sex, and painful bowel movements. So if you think you could have any one of these, uh, maybe it's not in your head, so you gotta go see your gynecologist and get checked out and make, have, have a diagnosis of endometriosis and then get treated. It's very, very common. I would say in Milan, roughly 30 to 40% of young women in their 20s and 30s could have endometriosis.